we're gonna make Nigerian coconut macaroons. So we need two egg whites, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, a can of condensed milk, two pounds of sweetened flake coconut, and then we'll dip them in chocolate. So we need to separate the eggs. We want the, only the egg whites. So we're gonna take our eggs and we're gonna get two bowls. The first bowl will be for the whites, and then the second bowl will be for the yolk. So you just separate it like this. You use the eggshells like little cups, and you pass it back and forth between the two, separating the white from the yolk. And then we put the yolk in there and save that. So we need two egg whites. So I'm just gonna show you again. Gently open it up. Pass it back and forth between the two. And you wanna make sure, don't get any yolk in the white, okay? Make sure it's only whites. And reserve your yolk. You can save the yolk for another recipe or make yourself an omelet, but don't throw them out. All right, so now we have our two egg whites. Those are done. And then we're gonna get the rest of our mise en place together. So we're gonna open up our can of condensed milk with our can opener. And this is a really nice one. It's very easy to use. Now we're gonna pour this into our large mixing bowl. And I'm gonna use the spatula to help get it all out of the can. All right, so we're gonna scrape out all of the excess out of our can, get every little drop. I don't wanna waste anything. Okay, and then we put this in the recycling bin. Recycle. All right, now a pinch of salt. Whenever you see a recipe that says a pinch of salt, it literally means that, a pinch. So what you can do is you put some in the palm of your hand and literally take a pinch, like that. That's it. It's a very small amount. Now I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. So here's our measuring spoons. We have the one teaspoon. a whisk to whisk all of that together. Okay. So I'm going to switch tools. We're going to use a whisk. So once I have that all whisked together, then we can measure and add in the coconut. All right, so we need 32 ounces. We're going to get 32. There we go, 32. Tiny bit over. Okay. So now we're going to fold the two together. Yay. All right, so just fold in your liquid ingredients into the coconut. And then we'll use a cookie scoop and bake them in the 325 degree oven. There's our finished batter, and I'm using an ice cream scoop to scoop this out. It's about a tablespoon size. And put it on our tray. tray. We're gonna put this in the oven, so we want to have it bake evenly. So we're gonna put three, and then two, and then three. We're gonna stagger the placing so that it bakes evenly. Now I'm gonna finish scooping all that. That'll take a little while, and then start baking them. Here are our finished coconut macaroons, and they were in the oven for about 16 minutes at 300. And we want a nice golden brown color on the coconut. There you go, you wanna get a nice golden brown color on the bottom. That's what we're looking for.
So here are our baked macaroons, and here is just some Hershey's semi-sweet morsels melted in the microwave. And now we're just gonna dip the bottom of the macaroon just a little bit in the chocolate, and then scrape off the excess on the bottom. And then we're just gonna put it on a silk pat, silicon mat right here to let it set up. And that makes the coconut macaroon just a little bit extra special. There we go. Just wipe off the excess. And again, right here next to it. And let that set up. And it just makes it a little more interesting, a little more exciting, more festive. And of course, tastes even better. To go over it again, our Nigerian coconut macaroons. We had two egg whites, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, a pinch of salt, one can of condensed milk, two pounds of sweetened flaked coconut. We stirred up all the ingredients together and then scooped them with a tablespoon ice cream scoop, baked them in a 300 degree oven for about 15 minutes, and then we melted some semi-sweet morsels and dipped them in the chocolate, and voila, there we go. So I hope you enjoyed it and we'll make this at home. Take care, everybody. Bye. For more recipe demonstrations, please click like and subscribe to Chef Victoria Love's YouTube channel and have fun in the kitchen. Thank you.